you got water, you've got all kinds of cool gear, all the cool latest shit that you've seen in your Instagram ads, you're testing it out, you're out there hiking every day, setting the stuff up when you're taking breaks, sleeping in it, camping, staying fit, because that's crucial. But there's one item a lot of people are missing in their bug out and prepping bags, and even just for regular camping. And not only can this make basic camping a little more comfortable in a survival situation, this one item can actually save you from dying. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? Out here enjoying the woods. Did a nice hike in, uh, outside of Karlsruhe, Germany. Really steep, rugged terrain as you can see behind me. I was kind of just taking a break, set up the hammock. Took a little bit of a nap actually. Uh, beautiful day so yeah, perfect day to be out hiking. Uh, I figured I would sit down and finally get to this video that I've been talking about for a long time. Okay, so this is just part of my medical equipment. Um, I got some meds in there. Um, I have a whole other part with like band-aids and uh, burn stuff and everything, splint style things. But you'll see I have this fruity looking item in here. I have a few of them. So these are electrolytes, not sugar and salt water like in Gatorade. These are pure electrolytes. You add them to water, drink them, and it's got, I believe it's 11 electrolytes that are crucial. So salt, magnesium, calcium, zinc, all kinds of other stuff. This can make or break your hiking or camping experience. And it could definitely mean survival for you in that kind of situation. So I'll give you a scenario. You're out in the woods, you get lost, you need to set up camp and start preparing for the next day of trying to figure out how the hell to get home. You have no phone service, so it's all up to you to survive and get out of there for as long as you possibly can. I've seen people bring meds like antibiotics and some vitamins and stuff, but electrolytes can actually prevent you from getting diarrhea. Even if you have a good water purification and filtration system, it's possible your water could still have something in it that could affect your stomach. And look, if you've ever been out camping or like me being deployed and in the field training with the army, when you have a stomach issue, that's probably the absolute worst condition you can be in. Because you can tough it up, you can go through injuries and stuff, and you can make it till the end. But if you got a stomach issue and you're squatting in the bushes every 10 minutes, that sucks. But in a survival situation, this can actually kill you. Because it's not just diarrhea or dysentery, whatever you got, or just some kind of stomach bug. This can actually lead to dehydration. When you have a stomach bug and you just got the runs, you're flying through your water which is already limited and you know, you're using up extra filters, you're using up extra water tablets, however you do it, you're boiling extra water, whatever your system is, you're running through your water a lot faster because it's just coming straight out of your system. And as we learned in the grunt world, dehydration kills. Water is your life, you gotta have it. So if you're just wasting it all day long, um, coming straight out of your system, that could kill you. That could kill you very quickly, especially when you're hiking in some brutal terrain and it's just a little bit warm, you can get dehydrated, pass out, go into heat, stroke, and you're done. Nobody will ever find you. So don't get me wrong, I'm not saying electrolytes on their own will keep you from getting a stomach bug. They're not like antibiotics or something that will kill a bug. However, I don't know how they do it in the States anymore, but anytime I've been to a German doctor with a stomach bug, if it's not a virus, I would get antibiotics to treat whatever it is. And then they would also give me a prescription for pure electrolytes because your water system in your body is out of whack. All your electrolytes are off, especially if you're hiking a lot and you're sweating. That's a lot of salt coming out of your body. Your muscles are using calcium, so you're losing that. If you have antibiotics and it's a bacterial infection, you'll be okay, but you're still going to have to treat those symptoms. You're still going to be losing water left and right. So that's where the electrolytes come in. The electrolytes will help balance out your system and... In combination with the meds, it'll actually help you get back on track to becoming healthier. So, like I said, that could actually save your life. Even if you don't have meds, taking electrolytes when, you're, when you've got some kind of issue going on, 
that could save your ass. Uh, and even in the summertime, if I'm doing a lot of hiking and uh, camping, I won't chug a whole bunch of electrolytes uh, just before I go hiking or something, which leads me to my next point. Electrolytes, don't overdo it. Uh, you can look this up, but if you take too many electrolytes at once, especially all of them together, you know, because they're in your food and everything, but if you take in too many of them, it will actually cause diarrhea. <laughs> so don't just say, oh, well, you know, this veteran dude said to take a whole bunch of electrolytes and I'll never get sick and I'll never be dehydrated. Wrong. You will start to piss out of your butt. You will be in very bad shape. So take the recommendation. I like these packets because... It's all about half of the electrolytes that you actually need. So if you have pretty good nutrition overall, that's all you're going to need. Now, if I'm in a dire situation or it's like the dead of summer and it's very hot and I'm doing a lot of extreme hiking, uh, I might do a full packet, but I'll do it the night before for a few reasons, but mainly to give my body a chance to store it up and cycle it, whatever it's doing with each electrolyte. And then so by the next morning, my body will be ready to go for the next stressful day of hiking. So I definitely wouldn't chug um, a liter of water with two packets of electrolytes and just take off because you might be looking for a bush to squat behind immediately. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this tip is helpful for you. I'm going to start putting up some more stuff like this, mainly because I've learned through painful experience some of these things I'm going to put out but I haven't actually seen them talked about on YouTube or other places, or I don't feel that they're addressed enough. Until those next videos, I'll catch you guys outside. Get out and enjoy life. Don't take shit too seriously. We're on borrowed time. I'm going to kick back, might doze off again, and then I'm headed home. Take care, guys.